Welcome back to the True Delo YouTube channel where we uplift stories that speak truth in pursuit of justice in service of love. In today's video, I'm sharing all the steps that I took to turn my home office into a part-time podcast studio to get the very best sound possible. I host and co-produce the podcast Sister Brunch, and we share the stories of Black women thriving in entertainment and media. So we are going into our fourth season at Sister Brunch. We recorded our first episode from our co-host Anya's house in June of 2019. Our executive producer, Christabel and Sia Bwadi, associate producer, Brittany, Anya and me had our very first guests, Bola and Janice. And we now also have a new producer as well, so Natalie Narciss. Seasons two and three, I recorded much of mine from my closet. Even though we're able to get back out into the world at this point, we decided to go ahead for season four and still continue to record from home. So that meant I had to step up my audio recording game and here are the steps that I took to do that. The most important thing that I did to get the best possible audio for my podcast was soundproofing. You can have the best mic, great equipment, but if there are issues in your room, that's gonna be your biggest hurdle. So this is True Jalo Studios, welcome. It's my office, it's my wellness room, and it's a podcast studio. This room is really, really echoey. There are also really uh, two really big windows here, and that's beautiful for their natural light, for my plants, but not so great for noise reduction. So we've got these top down, bottom up lines from Lowe's. These are these awesome magnetic shades from Ikea. Now, fortunately, I do have these gym mats on most of the floor. So those mats help a lot because otherwise it's just hardwood floor. I got these on Amazon. I, I linked to most of the equipment that I've purchased along the way down below. I also put a rug down and a rug pad under that. So that has really helped too with, with the space just below me. I have this gorgeous gorgeous tapestry behind me. It's from this company called Eighth Generation, but it's also a perfect backdrop for my Zoom calls. This is one of the most important things I got. I read a lot of reviews. I did a lot of research on what I could do on the walls, and I found these Bubos Hexagon acoustic panels. Uh, again, the link for the ones that I have are in the description box. I got them in white because I just wanted to kind of keep the walls minimal, but they've got all kinds of of colors and I used command strips to put these up on my wall. These have truly made a huge difference in the echo. I was skeptical but they really have mattered and I especially concentrated on the corner area so I didn't do the whole ceiling but there's an attic above me in the corner area and so I made sure that at least that attic was was somewhat covered up. I keep this Pendleton jacket here because Pendleton was a company that was really important to my mom when she was growing up and so this way I look at the Pendleton jacket and it also serves as a great sound buffer for the closet door in the office. I also placed these under both of the doors. I splurged on these two sound panels for buffering the sound between my desk and the windows and then this one I love this panel one because it also kind of helps me with the sound coming from the walls beyond my desk but also, as you can see, I put the Adinkra symbols for truth, justice, love uh, that I got. I got this from Etsy. I also have the link below. Um, and it adds this nice touch of something that makes me feel good. Next, I want to share with you the equipment that I'm using to try and get this best possible sound for the podcast that I co-host, Sister Brunch. For equipment, I did a lot of research into microphones. Um, I really wanted to push this, this uh, podcast audio glow up here. So I did go with the one that everyone, no matter who I spoke to, did a lot of research asked a lot of podcasters and everyone said, if you can afford it, get the Shure SM7B. But as I said in the first section on soundproofing, you can use any microphone. As long as you're working on noise reduction in your room, make sure you have that first. You need something that goes between the microphone and into your software that you're recording on. So you need an audio interface. I use the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. And again, do this little by little if you need to, 
but to get really great audio between the interface and the microphone, you also will probably want to get a cloud lifter. And um, that's going to just help with your audio as well. It just makes a difference. I'm not an audio engineer, so I don't know all of the technicals behind why these work together, but I know that once I got these three things together, plus the XLR cables, let's not forget those because you need, uh, you need the connector between each of these things. Hey there, I'm going to take a quick moment to ask you to do a few things. If you're enjoying this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to a thousand subscribers. That's the goal so that we can get this channel monetized and just by that little thumbs up or leaving a comment or especially subscribing, you can help us grow the channel and that will help us make it more accessible to more people. All right, onwards with the steps that I took to get the best possible sound for my podcast. And finally, I, I want to make sure that I'm surrounded with things that make me feel comfortable and comforted. I've got plants, I've got my salt lamp. I got this light to make sure that I'm well lit for the podcast. So even though we're not really a video podcast, I just like to bring my very best while I'm doing the podcast. I also got these LEDs that change colors. And so I use this color, which is close to our logo color. <laughs> So those are the steps that I've taken to glow up for season four of the podcast Sister Brunch. Visit our website at www.sisterbrunch.com. Thank you so much for watching this video, for liking it, for subscribing to the True Delo channel. My journey has always been about making black women feel seen and like we can have a place in entertainment. You know, a development person's whole job exists to say no, like your job is mm. to take every project. Mm. And if there's a reason why you think you might not make it, yeah. and then you operate in fear, because if you say yes, and what you what is you thought might be a problem was a problem, then that's your job. Mm. So everybody says no. And I just said, I don't wanna go back and be a person who says no. Like I like these people, I like filmmakers, I like these creatives. I just want to be someone who says yes. So I, I decided, I said, you know what? Like it is better to help the many and to widen the gate for the many than it is to just struggle and go after my own individual selfish ideas. So I decided yeah. to make a change. My disability, the part of who I am, is just one of my identities. I'm an aunt, I'm a daughter. I ended up getting taking this deal. It's a two-year first look deal that they offered me. 